Good afternoon, folks. Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, sitting here with Gremlin, our number one lady. I want to show you how amazing our setup is here. This is where it all happens, folks. This is where the videos come from. <laughs> We're talking plush accommodation. Someone just said I don't get out much. There's our trailer. I live outside. I do not stay in here. <laughs> so if you want to continue with your chemtrail nonsense instead of waiting to hear the facts, then you can tell me that all the airlines that are launching, the commercial airlines are spraying chemicals. And you could sound like an idiot and you'll be blocked and you'll be talking to yourself. Isn't that right, Grammy? Commercial airlines can't even fit people in packages. So let's just start there. But as you can notice, the weather has changed quite significantly since yesterday's video where we were in shorts. This is a low snow event. The passes are chain restrictions and there's avalanche warnings up high. But we're down at 6,600 feet here. 6,660 for all you insane people. Yes, I'm Satan and I live at 6666 feet that's actually out here on the river but it's a great place for growing vet, uh, fruits in this part of uh, the four corners area around six to seven thousand feet and she's excited to go in to the greenhouse what I failed to do yesterday for you guys was to do a performance report and I got this new uh, bed in yesterday that wasn't here so we'll have some shade planting on the side of the greenhouse to maximize production you can see all the performance here just on a light event, it's sliding forward to plow off. And we could probably clear these off, but I don't really know if I want the fans running in a snow event. So let's come in and check the performance last night. Now last night I bought a peach tree. I got home at nine and I put it in here because it had already bloomed. It's a pygmy peach. And what I'm gonna try to do is uh, grow this pygmy peach in here. It's a zone seven peach. We're in zone five. It's already got tons of flowers. It, oh, this is a plum, thankfully. I thought it was a peach. It's an ajrosa. So we're gonna try plum in here. It's a small plum, I'll keep it trimmed. And I got some blueberries, a powder blue, and a premier. These were uh, 13 bucks each. So I'll see if I can grow these in here so we have a, uh, protected berries. Most of the berries here get eaten by bears, birds, and other things. These two bushes can grow in one of these beds in the center while we grow vegetables. And we can also have berries. Okay, let's check out the performance. Check out Leah's walkway. I watered it down and swept it off yesterday when she was done. And it looks excellent. Good job, Leah. And it doesn't move also, so that's key. I added more water and it's snowing out and there's no sun since yesterday. So we're holding pretty good temperature at 45 and the low was 34. Thirty-nine was the low in here last night. That's it. So this holds the lowest temperature ever. This switches every 24 hours. So last night it was only 39. It's now up to 45. Completely fine for all spring crops that are pretty cold hardy to come up. These are the uh, rhubarbs I showed you yesterday. And they're, they've grown in just 24 hours. So that's the performance we're getting. As soon as the sun comes out, we're going to go right up. But the geothermal fans are not operating because the snow is covering the panels, which is good. Because the most temperature we have is up at the peak here, which is showing just about 45, 50 degrees. So the performance is excellent. Nothing is going to freeze in here. The only problem is tonight is going to be the last cold night. And with it being this cold all day, um, what I'm hoping for is a little splash of sun. Because if the sun peaks out for one second, this baby will go up to 80 and it will start storing heat. Although we're 
the ground is warm, so there's plenty of heat in the ground. It's just keeping this, the radiant heat is keeping it about 45, 46 in here. It's pretty nice. And there's no wind. So it looks fantastic. I wonder why that's blurry. So that's the update. Performance is good. The Achrosa Plum will be going in probably tomorrow. And the snowflakes are getting bigger. It's uh, probably 34 out here. So 11 degrees warmer in the greenhouse at all times is what we've been maintaining. And it's not uh, fully filled with the uh, thermal mass that it's going to actually have. So once it's fully uh, insulated and I get a couple hundred more gallons of water in there, it should have better performance. And the snow's still falling. There are the cliffs up there. This will all melt off in a minute once the sun comes out. That's what kind of solar gain we have here. But <coughs> it's how I uh, it's how I seed. I use the snow to set the seed and to water. So before there's a, a spring storm and a winter storm in the spring, I plant seed so that the snow can lock it into the soil and give it its first water of the year. So these hugel beds are getting watered now. There's thousands of peas and flax seeds in them. <coughs> and they'll start popping in just a few days because of this water. Isn't that right, Grammy? Guys, thanks for watching. Be safe.